Okay, so I never owned a N64, but I did play GoldenEye, uh, though at a friend's house uh, one time. And the multiplayer was pretty fun on that. I remember planting charges on walls and then blowing them up when my friend walked past them. It was a blast, literally. Um, but let's get to uh, let's get the multiplayer out of the way first. I didn't actually play it. Uh, you know why? Because I don't play my Wii online. There is uh, four-player split-screen though, which is uh, how we used to play it on the N64. This would work good if I had four Wii Motes and nunchucks, but I desperately try to give Nintendo as little money as possible, so I only have two of these. I think it would be great to reminisce, but playing multiplayer on GoldenEye wouldn't last as long as, like with me, as like a Halo or a Call of Duty game. Uh, so okay, the single player is fun, but it is flawed. The plot is pretty much identical to the movie, with a few little twists. For example, uh, the use of Daniel Craig and Judy Dench, as well as some of the gadgets like the mobile phone instead of a fancy watch that can do it all. Uh, the action is fun, and is all in first person view, which is just as you remembered. It was even great seeing the scene where Bond jumps off the cliff and into a diving aeroplane, which he just manages to steer back on course and into the sunset. Um, but what's flawed about all this is the controls. For starters, the game opens with the controller information and says you can use the Wii Zapper. I used my House of the Dead gun and changed to the Wii Zapper settings, but after doing the training, it was almost impossible to use. For starters, reloading required the minus button and charging weapons used the D-pad, so picture yourself holding a gun to the screen and then wanting to change weapons or reload. This means you'd be pulling the gun upwards towards yourself, meaning the sensor is pointing to the roof, and that means Bond is getting a good look at the roof in the game as well. And there's a strong chance someone is shooting you while all this is happening. So I ended up swapping back to the Wii mode and my wrists barely lasted a level. Uh, but it did work a lot better. It did take a little time to get used to. The zoom in does help in most or like in most cases cases auto locking on targets, but the crosshairs do need to be near the enemy in order to lock on. Uh, but you really need to be holding your hand out out at the TV the whole time in order for it to be accurate. Hence why my wrist aches once the level is over. Uh, there's 15 levels in the game, so it's not a bad haul. Uh, and if you're a Bond fan. Uh, an even better a GoldenEye fan film or N64 game then I think you will we'll enjoy it. Um, I would have liked to have played this on Xbox Live Arcade or PlayStation Network with a proper controller um, but even it, I don't, it didn't even matter if it's not in HD um, but still GoldenEye is a lot of fun but just let down by poor controls but it's still uh, recommended. 